hello ladies and gentlemen boys and girls welcome to this video application of integral calculus shortcuts for daily life and more my name is Junaid Ahmed and I will be instructed throughout this video all right so what are we gonna do so we're gonna see a very specific application of a concept of definite integral with some homemade methods of approximation so the steps are we're going to quickly look at what is integral calculus we're going to touch base on the fundamental theorem we're going to define the problem we're going to take a quick look at my method of approximation we're going to apply to the problem we're going to get the solution verify the solution then we're going to see how to work your way backwards from the answer to the question and of course we're going to apply some more approximation with all this information you're going to apply this to a bigger example and see if everything works out all right we're also going to see some easy way to find the quadratic and polynomial functions also i'll show you one of the online integral calculators now what this is not is it is not a lecture on integral calculus its theorems and so on so we're going to have other videos for the same a quick look at integral calculus it is a set of principles theorems methods formulas and so on in layman's term, it is a quick way to add stuff which otherwise would have taken you a long time. So to start with, you can think of integration as another way to do addition. So that's one way to start liking integration. It can also be fun. Now a general myth is integral calculus is thought of as a theoretical concept with limited applicability in general math let alone daily life so we're gonna try to break this myth and of course you can use these concepts to tackle problems from your class 11 onwards now keep in mind that there is a lot of approximation involved in these methods in general with these methods you're not really looking for an exact answer but something close by and more importantly the trend now there are various ways to reduce this error we will also see a couple of homemade methods to reduce this error in this video we will apply these concepts to calculate when you can buy your skateboard and perhaps a mustang with an incremental pocket money or savings sounds fun all right let's get started with the fundamental theorem so we have a function f of x and you want to be integrating this within the bounds a to b a being the lower limit and b being the upper limit so what is f of x f of x is basically a function of y expressed in terms of x so dx means a small part of this function all right now let's take an example now let's say that you have five dollars as pocket money every month so if you want to calculate what you're going to get at five months this is easy to do because it's just five into five and you get 25 but let's try to express this in this theorem now you can draw two axes so one is the x-axis and one is the y-axis and you can divide these axes into months and dollars so x-axis has months one two three four five and y-axis has dollars one two three four five all right now if you get five dollars which is right about here so you draw a straight line every month till you get five months if you actually connect these two dots then you're going to get this rectangle now if you calculate the area of this rectangle you're going to get the answer so basically length into breadth 5 into 5 is 25 and also if you take the units and actually strike out the month you're going to get dollars so that is 25 dollars very nice so you have expressed this simple maths into the theorem and actually you worked out the problem let's take a look at another example now let's say your pocket money started with one dollar every month and it increased by one dollar every month as well so now if you draw a graph with the same axis as x and y x being months and y being dollars then your function f of x is going to look like this and the value of this is going to be 1x now how to calculate the f of x there are various ways to do that and it's also a shortcut which i will discuss at the end of this lecture so how are we going to deal with problems like these let's take a look at the problem 
Now, let's say that you're about the age you want to get a skateboard, all right? So you go to your dad, you ask, hey, dad, can you please get me a skateboard? Now, your dad being a dad says, hey, nothing is free in this world. You have to earn it. He says, if you continue to do your homework and clean your things, including his car, he will start you with a pocket money of $10 a month. And every month, he will increase it by another $10. And he says that in no time, you can buy your own skateboard. And you say, Dad, gee, you could have just said no. But he says, hey, pal, this is a good deal. Think about it. Then you say, okay, so a good skateboard like Tony Hawk ones would probably cost you about 200 bucks. So how long will it take? Now, this is a good problem. So first, let's try to bring the numbers into a table and try to visualize what it looks like. So if you draw a table with month and dollars, so first month you're going to get $10, second month you're going to get $20, third month you're going to get $30, fourth month you're going to get $40. You see why your dad says this is a good deal. Now, how long will it take to reach $200 so that you can buy the skateboard? Now, that's the problem. Let's take a look at the solution. Now, let's get started with the function f of x equal to 10x. Now, if you actually draw a graph with the x and y axis, and if you calculate the quadratic function, you would get 10x. Towards the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, the first thing is you're going to take a guess. You're going to say, hey, okay, probably three months is a good time to get the 200 bucks, right? Well, it's a guess. So, let's do the math. Now, let's say first month, you're going to get $10. Second month, you're going to get $20. Third month, you're going to get $30. So that's going to be $60. Now, let's see if you can get the same answer using integration. You start with the function f of x dx with the lower bound and the upper bound. So 0 to 3, 0 is 0 months. 3 is your third month, right? And your function is f of x and then dx. So if you integrate 10x, you can get 10x squared by 2. And if you actually divide 10 by 2, you're going to get 5x squared, 0 to 3. So if you apply your limits, 5x squared, substitute x as 3. So 5 into 3 squared minus 5 into 0 squared. So this becomes 0. And this becomes 5 into 9. So that gives you 45. So 45 is not close to 60. So this is where the rule of approximation comes into picture. Let's take a look at my rule of approximation. So my idea of approximation is this. So the same function remains. What you're going to add is you're going to add this factor. So we're going to call it the approximation factor. So it's, this is something like this. 1 plus 1 by b minus a. And that's it. So this looks a little bit complicated, but it's very, very simple. What you're doing is you're adding a percentage of the upper bound minus the lower bound in a factor. So if you actually do the math, 1 plus 1 by 3 minus 0 would give you 0.333. And if you just add it to 1, it's going to give you 1.333. And if you multiply that with the actual 45 answer which you got, you're going to get roughly about 60. So there you go. So if you apply the approximation factor, you're going to actually get your answer. Now, let's try to increase the guess. So, you're not going to get a skateboard for $60. So, let's see. Guess number two, you say six months. So, you apply the same. So, your lower limit remains zero and your upper limit remains six. Then, you apply the function 10x dx. Then, dot, you apply the approximation factor. So, this is the same thing, 5 square. And then, this is going to be 1 plus 0 0.1666 because now it's become 1 by 6. So you apply the math, 5x squared is basically 6 squared, so 5 into 36 is 180. And into this approximation factor is 1.166. That roughly comes up to $210. All right. Now let's see if this matches with your basic match. So first month, $10, second month, 20 so on, and six is 60 If you actually do the math, it's $210. Hey, guess what? They're the same thing. So this is an exciting piece of information which you have got, and you can try it, and it's actually pretty interesting. Now, if you say that, listen, I don't want to be doing the guesswork so much. I just want to get the X, which is the upper bound, 
because I know that the lower bound is zero. So how are you going to do that? Let's see. Now, this is called working backwards problem. Okay. Now, for the same problem, so you have a definite integral with a constant increment. In that case, this would actually work. Okay. So how do you do that? So you take the function, right? And you equate it to what you want, which is $200. What I want to actually understand is the upper bound because I know that the lower bound is zero. So you just basically do the math. 10x squared by 2 is equal to 200, right? So x squared is going to become 200 by 5. So x squared is 40. So x is basically root of the other side, which is root of 40. And that would give you 6.32. The approximation here is you take the lowest whole number. So in this case, it's going to be 6. Now, if you actually apply the regular method, you know, you're going to say 0 to 6, 10x, and 10x squared by 2, 5 into 36, 180 into 1.666. Now, that's going to get you 210. So, you see that 6 and 210 actually work. And if you also can verify with your manual method, it's pretty much the same. So, you can use the backward method or you can use the regular method. Both ways is going to pretty much be the same. But don't forget that you have to apply the approximation factor. So approximation factor in the regular method is 1.166. And the approximation factor here is you're going to take the lowest whole number. So much fun. Now, let's try to apply this in a bigger example. Now, let's say that uh, you have grown up and uh, you got yourself situated pretty well. All right. And now you're eyeing for that Mustang. Let's say that you want to start your saving with about $500 a month and increase then by hundred dollars every month so basic version of mustang runs about twenty five thousand dollars so let's say that you want to put the cash down and not worry about the payments so you want to know how long do you want to save all right so if you express this equation which is basically starting with five hundred dollars and increasing every month by hundred dollars it's going to boil down to hundred x plus 400 so that is going to be your f of x all right and your bounds are going to be 0 to x which we do not know now if you want to split this equation before actually doing the integration it's going to be much easier for you so you can write this equation as 100 x dx 0 to x plus 400 0 to x dx and then you basically do the integration x squared by 2 and then you boil down to this equation so you, you're taking a guess. You think that it's going to take you probably two years. So go ahead and apply two years, zero to 24 months. That's two years, right? And the same thing on this side. So that boils down to 50 into the x square, right about here. So that's 24x square plus 400 into x. That's going to be 24. And this side is going to be basically zero. So don't worry about it. And if you actually do the math, it's going to be 28,800 plus 9,600. So that's $38,400. Man, you didn't expect that. And then you apply the approximation factor. So that's going to make it almost 40 grand. That's a lot of money, guys. That's a lot of money. So you didn't think that you're going to get this much money by actually doing this. All right. Now let's try to see. Okay. I don't need 40,000. So the good news is I don't have to wait for two years. Now let's see how long do I actually need. So let's take the next guess. The next guess is going to be 20 months. You think that probably 20 months I can get a brand new Mustang for myself. So actually, if you boil down the whole equation, this comes up to only this much. So 50x squared plus 400x. So you just apply the upper limit because the lower limit is zero. So 50 into 20 square plus 400 into 20, it's going to be 28,000 into the approximation factor of 1.05. Again, it's going to get you 29,400. That's also more than what you need. So that's another good news. So let's say, okay, fine. Probably 18 months would do the trick. So you apply the bounds and guess what? You're going to get 24,700. So you are going to get your Mustang at the end of 18 months. Awesome, really good work. This is really exciting. So you know this piece of information, go ahead, apply it, test it, and see what you get. Now, for a situation like 
where you have different kinds of increments every month you can actually get the quadratic equation or the polynomial equation it works with both of them and you can solve using the exact same method now that brings us to the question how do i get that quadratic and how do i get that polynomial equation without breaking my head okay so let's go to our faithful ms excel thanks to bill gates so go ahead and open up an excel sheet and punch in the model or the table for your first problem so zero zero one first month is ten dollars second month is twenty dollars so on and you can go up to as long as you like but i'm gonna do it till 10. all right so go ahead and select it and go to insert go to scatter you can also use an xy plot if you like and go to this one all right so this is the graph for you and if you see that this is a line here and this is your function f of x and this is your x axis and this is your y axis all right so double click on the line or single click on the line whichever you like as long as you can see these dots and then once you see the dots you're gonna right click on it and you're gonna say add trend line okay once you click on that it's gonna give you this pop-up its default selection is linear so it's okay keep on it and go and click on display equation on chart so when you do that it says that y equal to 10x that's exactly what we needed so another way to think about it is hey my increment is 10 every month so therefore it is 10x that also works out just fine now of course you can change it and things like that you can also go ahead and click another time go to format or add another trend line and this time you can also go for a polynomial trend line so your polynomial trend line would look something like this so you can apply the same formula for both and it works out just fine all right now let's see that if you can do this for the next problem which is basically first month you get five hundred dollars second month you get six hundred dollars sorry and seven hundred eight hundred nine hundred thousand that should be good it's gonna be three four five and six and go ahead select it go ahead and say insert go to scatter go to this one and you get this one all right so this is the f of x x axis y axis all right so go ahead click on the graph or the line say add trend line and do the exact same thing show equation on graph and there you go you see that this is your quadratic equation so similarly you can also choose for a polynomial equation if you like and uh, just so right click say add trend line and go to polynomial display on graph there you go and this is the factor of two so now you know an easy method to get your quadratic and polynomial equations very nice now the next question is how do i quickly get an answer to verify my method so that brings us to the online integral calculator so the online integral calculator can be found at the url www.integral-calculator.com all right now let's say that we want to calculate the answer here so your function is 10x plus 400 your bounds are 0 to I believe 18 so go ahead and punch 18 all right say go and you need to get the answer so it's gonna be 23,400 this is without the approximation factor so then you go ahead and apply your approximation factor then you get your actual value so there you go 23,400 and then you apply your approximation factor real real good stuff so you have seen end-to-end the application of a specific method of definite integrals to solve real life problems and also apply this as a shortcut in your exams in your competitive exams in whatever form you like I hope you enjoyed and I hope most importantly you learned something out of this